As president, I can put no other consideration before the well-being of American citizens. The Paris Climate Accord is simply the latest example of Washington entering into an agreement that disadvantages the United States to the exclusive benefit of other countries, leaving American workers, who I love, and taxpayers to absorb the cost in terms of lost jobs, lower wages, shuttered factories, and vastly diminished economic production. Thus, as of today, the United States will cease all implementation of the non-binding Paris Accord and the draconian financial and economic burdens the agreement imposes on our country. Not only does this deal subject our citizens to harsh economic restrictions, it fails to live up to our environmental ideals. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, which I do, I cannot in good conscience support a deal that punishes the United States, which is what it does. The world's leader in environmental protection, while imposing no meaningful obligations on the world's leading polluters. In short, the agreement doesn't eliminate coal jobs. It just transfers those jobs out of America and the United States and ships them to foreign countries. I'm willing to immediately work with Democratic leaders to either negotiate our way back into Paris under the terms that are fair to the United States and its workers, or to negotiate a new deal that protects our country and its taxpayers. So if the obstructionists want to get together with me, let's make them non-obstructionists. I will work to ensure that America remains the world's leader on environmental issues, but under a framework that is fair and where the burdens and responsibilities are equally shared. Let me say a few words to our American friends. Climate change is one of the major issues of our time. It is already changing our daily lives, but it is global. Everyone is impacted. And if we do nothing, our children will know a world of migrations, of wars, of shortage. A dangerous world. It is not the future we want for ourselves. It is not the future we want for our children. It is not the future we want for our world. Today, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, announced his decision to withdraw the United States from the Paris Agreement. I do respect this decision, but I do think it is an actual mistake, both for the US and for our planet. I just said President Trump in a few words a few minutes ago, this assessment. Tonight, I wish to tell the United States, France believes in you. The world believes in you. I know that you are a great nation. I know your history, our common history. To all scientists, engineers, entrepreneurs, responsible citizens who were disappointed by the decision of the President of the United States, I want to say that they will find in France a second homeland. I call on them, come and work here with us, to work together on concrete solutions for our climate, our environment. I can assure you, France will not give up the fight. I reaffirm clearly that the Paris Agreement remains irreversible and will be implemented 
not just my friends, but my all the other nations. Over the coming hours, I will have the opportunity to speak with our main partners to define a common strategy and to launch new initiatives. I already know that I can count on them. I call on you to remain confident. We will succeed because we are fully committed. Because wherever we live, whoever we are, we all share the same responsibility. Make our planet great again. China and European leaders have vigorously defended the Paris climate deal. The Chinese Prime Minister signed business deals in Germany at the start of a tour of Europe, but the environment was never far away, with Beijing vowing to stick to its commitments, whatever Washington decides to do. In order to grow, we need sustainable green development. That's why China, going forward, will adhere to the Paris Climate Agreement. Having vented her frustration with Trump, describing unsatisfactory G7 talks, Chancellor Merkel pointed to political, economic, social and cultural links between Germany and China, which have vowed to strengthen ties. We're living in times of global uncertainty and see that we have a responsibility to expand our partnership in all the different areas and to push for a world order based on law. After a summit in Brussels, the EU and its unlikely global partner, China, are set to issue a joint statement on Friday reiterating that they'll fully implement the Paris Accord.